Minnesota, almost half of severe crashes occur on local roads. However, these crashes happen across many miles of roadway. Because the traditional site analysis approach applies funding to locations with multiple crashes, local roads were underrepresented for safety investments. When people are out there on a the road, they don't know if they're on a state highway or a county highway. They just know that somebody got hurt on that road. To account for crashes on the local system and better target safety investments, the Minnesota Department of Transportation decided on a new analysis approach. And so after multiple road safety audits, um, or RSAs, we came to the conclusion that we had to think larger and different, more systemic. The team used data-driven safety analysis to accomplish its goal. Data-driven safety analysis is the application of the latest generation of tools for analyzing crash and roadway data. These tools quantify safety impacts so you can make more informed decisions. This lets you better target highway safety investments. The result is fewer severe crashes on the roadways. The Minnesota DOT used a systemic approach to analyze all state and county roads. Instead of focusing only on high crash locations, the analysis identified high risk roadway features that correlated with severe crash types across the whole system. The systemic approach is a good collaborative effort or other element to add to our safety initiative because it looks at areas that have specific conditions that may be of the same type that we're seeing crashes at. Based on its analysis, Minnesota DOT developed road safety plans for every county and DOT district. The plans identified at-risk locations for improvement and provided specific low-cost safety countermeasures to implement, such as rumble strips, enhanced edge lines, and chevron signs. At first, not all were convinced the systemic approach was the best way to go. Going into the process, I thought it was just another plan on the desk. And as again, as we've used it more and more and more, I realized that power, the power really is centered on the ability to predict at-risk locations and you can treat specific locations that are at risk. Minnesota DOT also shared funding with the counties to accomplish projects. I think the people at the DOT here really understood that if we want to make a true safety difference, then we have to get that money down to the local level to start shifting the culture. The result has been wider application of low-cost safety treatments to the highest risk locations across Minnesota's local roadways. If I can use these low-cost safety strategies that have high confidence of effectiveness, I have great confidence that the money that I'm spending is, is worthwhile money. Ultimately, the effort has made Minnesota's roads safer. The proof is in the data. We are seeing a significant reduction of, of fatalities and serious injury crashes in Minnesota roads. Data-driven safety analysis has worked for Minnesota, and it can work for your agency as well. Because what we're trying to do is the same mission, is try to make our roads as safe as possible for the public that we all serve. But we're proactively, systemically putting that money out there in the places that it can do the most good for the least amount of cost.